Hello and welcome everyone and we hope you're all doing splendidly well. So we've got a couple of cool pieces of news. Um, they do say that good news comes in threes and last June uh, we announced that we're getting married and we are getting married in August, early August 2020, FYI. <laughs> so that's been planned. Um, but we've got a couple of other pieces of news to add now to, to make the big three that's going on at the moment. That is, uh, first of all, we are getting a house because, uh, well, since you've known us, basically, we've been living with Alison's mother um, in this lovely house here. But obviously, you know, we want our own uh, house. We can do our own thing and stuff like that. Uh, and so we found a, a little three bedroom house in a village called Maney or a town called Maney, about 10 miles away from here. And we're going through proceedings and Hopefully by the end of the year we should be in there and settled, which is nice. So that's the second piece of news, which is good. And the third piece of news, um, you can say it, monkey. Um, we're having a baby. Having, yeah, there Yay. you go. It's our little miracle. Yeah, um, and it's an interesting story because um, we were told in no uncertain terms that because of my cancer treatment I have had recently, operation and stuff, and obviously, and Alison has got her own uh, um, health problems as well. That there was zero chance that we'd ever be able to have uh, a, a natural child. It's just simply not uh, medically possible. Um, so what we did was, before I had my treatment, is we had uh, sperm samples frozen, put on ice, and so last, uh, so a couple of months ago, we went to the IVF treatment hospital and to look at uh, getting um, what was it called? ICSI treatment similar to IVF but yeah so but more all intent purposes uh, IVF treatment now because of the parameters that we face uh, unfortunately it was going to cost a lot of money it was going to cost 30 to 40 thousand pounds about 50 thousand dollars to do that and even with that it still wasn't a certainty there's only you know a percent chance it may or may not work uh, so we had resigned ourselves to the fact that it just wasn't really possible unfortunately unless um, you know, we won the lottery, there's, you know, it's not going to happen. And, no joke, the same day, um, Alison did a, um, like a, you know, tester, home kit tester. I'd gone off coffee, and if you know me, that's a big thing, so I, was, I thought I was being a bit crazy, so I bought a pregnancy test in secret. <laughs> yeah, it's probably a secret, and the very same day, uh, when I was writing a, a letter to my, an email to my parents to saying that, unfortunately, it's a no-go, no you know, it's just weird how things work out. Um, just shame, uh, came through and, and said that it was positive, that it was pregnant, which is just weird. And so I didn't believe it because, you know, we've been told it wasn't possible. So we've been back and forth to the doctors and I finally um, uh, believe it's right. Uh, we've been now, so so it's a, basically a miracle baby. It's a genuine miracle baby, you know, it shouldn't be, but it is. Um, so that's great. Um, and we've been to for our end of trimester scan because we're 12 weeks in and I'll show this scan up here because um, you have to go at 12 weeks to go for the congenital defect tests um, and uh, he, he wasn't quite ready for it. It turns out he's only 11 weeks uh, instead of 12 weeks. Uh, so we've got to go back next week um, to, to, to go back and to, when he's old enough basically to do the test. So uh, we asked if you could give us your best wishes, please, it would be much appreciated to hope for uh, his health. We don't actually know if it's a boy or a girl yet, but I'm betting on boy. Uh, and if that's the case, then he's called Henry. So <laughs> we're hoping Henry all the best. And um, here I'll put a picture on the screen somewhere of Henry. Um, and that's it really, we just wanted to share that. Obviously, you know, st stupidly busy at the moment, trying to plan a wedding, we're trying to all the things with the house. And to fund the house, we're selling a flat, uh, Ellison's old flat, from my previous life basically in London and I was going to do that and obviously all the things we have to do with Henry and whatnot so we're doing the best we can um, and that's it really anything else you wanted to say? No, that's it, thank you. Okay, that's all, um, we'll sign off, wish you the best and bye bye. Bye.